800 jobs are to go at the MOX fuel plant at Sellafield after it was suddenly announced it's set to close. The plant reprocesses plutonium from spent nuclear fuel. It recycles it into mixed oxide, which can be reused to fuel nuclear reactors. But the plant's only customer is the Japanese nuclear industry. Fewer contracts following the Fukushima nuclear shutdown has led to the closure. The prospect union says the decision to shut down has been made without consulting them. This morning we've asked Sellafield Limited to draw up a plan for the closure. That closure itself will take months and there'll be hundreds of those workers involved in the safe closure of the plant. Over the next weeks and months we'll be working with Sellafield to ensure that the maximum number of workers are redeployed. Joining me in the studio tonight is Labour MP and former Environment Minister Michael Meacher. Good evening. Uh, sure. It's a sad day not only for the 800 people who mm. might lose their jobs, but also for the British nuclear industry, isn't it? Well, this has been a monumental failure. Uh, the fact is it has cost £1.3 billion. Uh, it was intended to produce 120 tonnes of MOX fuel each year. It has produced in eight years just 13 tonnes, that is one and a half percent of what it was intended to. Uh, it was supposed to have a market in Japan well before Fukushima, there clearly wasn't a market there. It was supposed to produce a profit each year, it hasn't produced any profit. Yes, but, but Labour came into power on exactly the same day mm. that this plant actually opened and, and you were Environment Minister, why didn't you put a stop to it then? I did try to put a stop to it, I expressed my opposition to it vigorously and strenuously for at least uh, two years. Uh, I never thought there was a market. I never thought it would be profitable. The real problem is that I was... But your uh, voice wasn't heard. Uh, well, it was heard, uh, but there was an ADL... Uh, an AD Little uh, consultancy who said that it was going to be profitable. The Prime Minister, uh, Tony Blair, uh, I think has a fixation in favour of nuclear and he was determined that it should go ahead. And I had a call when I was at the European conference and Jonathan Powell in his office saying I had to 3pm that day to approve it. So, so this was Tony ahead. Blair's decision and not yours. But let, let's Indeed. move forward with what we're going to do in Britain mm. with this plutonium. Mm. We have a huge stockpile. Okay. What's going to happen to it? Well, that's a very serious and unanswerable question. I think it is over 100 million tonnes. Uh, uh, sorry, 100 tonnes. Uh, 100 tonnes is still a huge amount of plutonium. It's one of the most dangerous substances on Earth. Uh, and we haven't got a safe uh, disposal for it. That's one problem. Uh, secondly, uh, we are proposing in this country at the moment with the coalition policies to go ahead with new nuclear build of 10 plants. I think that is now a very foolhardy uh, proposal. Uh, and I believe that there should be a public inquiry, which I will be calling for uh, from the Public Accounts Committee, as to how this country has spent one and a half billion pounds almost for nothing. Michael Meach, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.